Matt, turning it back over to here, I'm not about to ask you if snow is on its way, dare I say it, but yeah, we had it earlier this week, but Boyne Mountain here in Michigan didn't open until the first week of December. So with today being spectacular, how many more of these days yeah, do we think we have left? You know what, usually when you get a day like this in October, you usually don't follow it up with another one, but I tell you what, we will tomorrow. And by the way, my snow conditions report, just a little more than a month away, kicking off uh, in December. Nonetheless, you can see the temperatures. Now, if you recall earlier in the week, this is basically flipped. They had the warmest temperatures out west, the coolest here across the Great Lakes eastern part of the United States. Pattern has completely changed, and I'm sure if, as you stepped outside, you probably felt it, felt it. Look at Chicago right now, one degree shy of 80. It's 82 in Des Moines. We're at 73 degrees in Grand Rapids, and we're gonna carry over with another gorgeous day out there. This is what it looks like closer in. You can see temperatures still holding in the 70s in the vast majority of lower Michigan. Uh, you can see uh, <laughs> Sheboygan, you're getting ripped off right now, 54 degrees. Not only that, but we get the sunshine, full sunshine today, live view of Kalamazoo. It's so bright out there with the sunset, and you can't even see the colors that are just spectacular also. Here's a view looking northwest over the GVSU campus. You can see the colors out there a little better in this view. And uh, the wind, it's been a little on the breezy side, but I don't think anyone's complaining because now that wind is out of the south and it's really allowed for those uh, kind of like summer-like temperatures to take home. Not quite summer-like, but boy, it sure feels nice. Still some gusts out there up for a little over 20 miles an hour, but those will subside quite a bit. They'll go down around 5 to 10 miles an hour tonight, and it'll be a touch on the breezy side tomorrow. So if you're heading out to one of the orchards or what have you, uh, and maybe get a pumpkin, uh, it's going to be a touch on the breezy side, but no worries. It's going to be back in the 70s. I want to show you this, a broad view of the United States. Now, if you get east of the Rockies, there's hardly a drop of rain anywhere in the United States east of the Rockies. That's quite impressive, considering we had eight consecutive days earlier this month uh, with rain or precipitation. You can see area of low pressure off to the west of us. Oh yeah, that's a warm front. We felt that warm front move through and the temperatures on the south side of it in the 70s and 80s. And as we roll in through the overnight period, generally clear skies out there. I think there's going to be a, just a few more clouds in the picture for tomorrow, but still it's another warm day with a south to southeast wind. And with that southeast wind, lakeshore areas just like today will be just as warm. Now I do expect some showers to move in for Sunday night. Uh, this forecast model is kind of robust with it. Those will move out early Sunday morning and we could get another round of some of those showers uh, Monday night. So this is what it looks like. We still carry over with mild temperatures right on through Tuesday. And then, you know, this is October, cold front moves through and we start cooling things off. But even though it's cooler, look at the beautiful stretch of weather. Thursday ran through uh, next Sunday. And of course, a lot of kids will be trick-or-treating on Sunday, even though it's not the <laughs> official uh, you know, Halloween day. But nonetheless, yeah, two more days of 70s. Not bad. Yeah, no complaints here whatsoever. I wonder how many people are going to be, once Thursday comes by with the 50s and the sun, that they're going to be wearing sweatshirts, but shorts on the bottom. Yeah, you know, that, in that, that would be my area. kids. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And I'll join the group. There you go. So, All right, Matt, thank you.